It's back to school time, and my child's dyslexic. Help, what do I do to get him organized? Find out more at Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Hi, it's Dr. Doug Curtis. And Lucy Curtis from Dyslexic and Unstoppable. Our mission is to help dyslexics rediscover their inner power. That's right, and it's the end of summer, uh, if you can believe it or not, um, and school's starting. Um, some kids are actually already in school. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of excitement, maybe some trepidation um, with the start of the new year and making mm -hmm. friends and, you know, what classes kids are in, etc. But for the parent of the dyslexic child or the child who is just struggling with reading, um, there can be that extra layer of, of trepidation, that, of a little bit of nervousness. Um, so what do you say, having now that you know, our son's going to eighth grade, so we've gone through this a number of years, what do you say to that parent to help them get through this and help their child get through this? Yeah, today we get the, the schedule, right? So, and they look at the schedule, you know, who, which friends do they have and what, in what class that helps this you know, make the, the transition better and all that stuff. But it's also when you get new teachers, it's stressful to the parents. And even though our, our son is, is so easygoing about mm. this whole dyslexia thing, um, you know, having a new teacher that doesn't know you can bring up a little bit of stress, right? Especially for him, he still struggles with the spelling or the little grammar or punctuation, things like that. So it can show up in... English, but it can show up in Latin, it can show up in in history, it can show up in science, right? So when you don't have the same teachers and they're not aware of your writing style or the little, you know, like the way you think and things like that, so it might have some, it may be something that we have to address this this uh, fall or not, so we'll, we'll, we'll give it a couple weeks and see how it goes. The other part of it is, you know, organiza organization. So. We we really take, even though it's a new year, we take everything that we've brought along the way, for the cat for every subject. Like if, I think of uh, Latin has a white folder. We still do the white folder. We still do the same kind of folder. We still do the same. Um, you know, we do uh, the morning together, the afternoon together. All these little things that we do to keep the same routine, keep the same routine, right. new year doesn't matter, keep the same routine. Uh, he likes the same kind of shoes, he likes the same kind of bag, he likes the same, all these mm -hmm. things I do for him so that it, it, it removes that stress of anything right. new, how do I figure this out, you know, that yeah. helps too, you know. Right. And we, we, you know, we've had, he's going into eighth grade, so we've had a number of years to kind of figure a lot of this out. So right. we have other videos right. on our website that, that go into the um, each individual subject, etc. Um, but you know, I think the main thing to realize is this is all about energy, right? That mm -hmm. the kids are um, really trying when they're when they're in school and um, they're trying to write or they're trying to read. It's taking that extra bit of energy for them to do so, right? So any way you can relieve any other stress or any other you know energy leaks, we call it, mm -hmm. um, and make life easier for them. Why not? So that's the thing: is getting them organized and getting them involved in the organization process. So yeah. not just saying, "Okay, here are your folders. This is what you're going to do this year," but saying, "Okay, let's let's sit down. Let's go yeah. through your your schedule. Here's what you have. How do we want to do this?" Yeah. So your child's enrolled in the process. Too. And and but and it also makes sense. So if 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 the the child is involved in it, then he knows or she knows why it's done like that, mm -hmm. or it makes. You know, like uh, our son, there's, there, uh, there, you know, like now he's used to going through this routine and he, there's sometimes, uh, some types of food that he likes better than others and some little, you know, mm. organiza organizer that he, for him, he, he knows how it works and how he likes it that way. And so you have to put them, have them be part of the process, right? Mm because then they remember it right. also because exactly. if I just tell him this is what you're going to do how you're going to do it right. he's going to be like eh, I don't remember what did what my mom said because they don't feel it don't they, they're not part of the process right. so that's a big it. thing yeah. Yeah. so anyway you know just some of the uh, tools that we've used we have a lot more on our website um, mm -hmm. that you can check out um, but these are all great ways to set up this year so it's you know, a great year for them um, and get them started in the right, uh, right way. All right, let us know what you think. Leave us a comment below and visit us at dyslexicandunstoppable.com. Thank you.